bringing you the latest F1 news. Yes, it's time for another episode of F1 in a week. Now, there is only really one massive type of area to talk about again uh, this week. Again, it's all about who is going to replace Nico Rosberg at Mercedes, world champion Nico Rosberg at Mercedes. Now, it's, it's taken a few developments over since uh, the last episode of F1 in a week. I should just say this video only come out on Thursday. But it's Wednesday morning now, so if something happens during this afternoon or tomorrow, it won't be in this video, but it'll be in the next one, next week. So, the week started, they said that, uh, Mercedes said that, you know, and the BBC reported that Alonso might be going to Mercedes. That got everyone very excited, including me, I was exceptionally excited about that, because imagine Hamilton versus Alonso, you know, I think as I said last week, that's going to be pretty cool. You know, two, two of the best drivers and that would be exciting however his uh, agent well, uh, you know said and Alonso said that he is not going to go to Mercedes he is staying with McLaren this was news yesterday he's going to stay with McLaren and you know, keep their project try to win races try to be the world champion at McLaren Honda ok yeah, that seems a bit ambitious considering where McLaren Honda have been the last couple of seasons but, you never know, the new rules next year, that could be something that happens in the next couple of years, as the order might change, and McLaren will hopefully be towards the run. And then, also, in relation to Mercedes, Mercedes reportedly, but very widely reportedly, it was very widely reported, ma making a move for Valtteri Bartas of Williams, uh, however, Williams have rejected this apparently, and mm, it's an interesting one. I, I wouldn't, I didn't expect Bottas because I thought it was going to be between Verline and Alonso. So now it looks like Verline will be going to Mercedes because unless it's going to be a shot move from Verstappen or something or Vettel. But Bottas, I, I'm not so, I haven't been so impressed with him. He's, he's alright, but. This season, I feel like now he hasn't got such a good car anymore. In 2016, he didn't have such a good car in 2016. He went a bit downhill. So maybe he's not the best driver. But then again, if Mercedes have the best car, they need the fastest driver, not the driver who's going to be able to get up the grid with a with a slower car. So in surely, like the ultimate driver for Mercedes. Maybe be someone, somebody like Vettel, who, in best car, knows how to dominate. However, maybe they're going to Bottas because they don't want to risk, even though they'll say it's equal drivers, they think Hamilton would beat him. Like, I think everyone would think Hamilton would beat him. I'd be very surprised if, if, if Bottas was at Mercedes, if he was able to beat Hamilton, providing Hamilton stays concentrated in the season. That would be interesting. Then again, they might have wanted Bottas because he seems very down to earth. You don't hear about him in the news outside of F1 based news. Unlike Hamilton. So maybe that's what they wanted. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. It's looking good. Who else? Who else said Verlaine can go there? Any of the top drivers will have to be within, you know, in with a shout. And, well, you never know, Rosberg could come back. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if maybe in a year or two Rosberg does actually come back to F1. That wouldn't surprise me, that's not the point of this video. So why am I saying that? that that's a silly idea. Also, any other things in the news this week? Well, and probably the only funny thing, oh yeah, the funny thing about the whole Mercedes thing, they actually advertised their vacant racy in, in various magazines. So I don't know if they did that as a joke or what. And I think Twitter, Kamui Kobayashi, I don't know if you guys remember him, he was in F1 a few years ago. I thought, I always thought he was really good, he was very you know, good at his overtakes and stuff, but... Whatever, he... Posted his, his CV on his Twitter, tagging uh, Mercedes. So... I don't think he'd be, he'll be their new driver though, to be honest. But it'd be cool. Anyway, I hope... Can you guys please tell me in the comments who you think or want to be at Mercedes, you know, maybe Sergio Perez, who I'm driving as here, like, all, all the people who sort of came into the sport around 2012, 2013, 
He is probably... He came from 2011, didn't he? Damn. Right, whatever. But... He's probably one of those better ones of that new generation. Well, at least in my opinion, anyway. So, maybe Sergio Perez can go to... Uh, Mercedes. Well, why not? Great driver. He's in a Mercedes-based team in Force India. So why not? Like, that would be... I don't... I haven't heard anyone talk about that, or am I forgetting something? I hope I'm not forgetting something then, but why not, why not Sergio Perez? Quite funny, he, I ran right there as Sergio Perez on the game, as I was saying that. But... Also yesterday, um, BBC released an interview with Nico Rosberg and he was going on how he can you know, laugh with Hamilton and stuff and how it was so good to beat him and I don't really like it when Rosberg keeps going on about how, how Hamilton's such a great driver and things, I don't know if that's like what, even though it's very nice is that really what F1 champions do? I'm not so sure and you're always going on Hamilton's such an amazing driver, a world champion driver, do you say that? Was he just trying to talk himself up? Is he, does he regret leaving F1? Uh, I would. If I was in F1, I wouldn't want to leave. But anyway, I've talked about a few things in this video. Please tell me in the comments what you think. I'd be interested to hear. Or any other ideas. Or you should do, Someone should do in the comments like a fake CV that they would send to Mercedes. That'd be cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more F1 news and a load of other stuff. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.